How does Santa deliver all those gifts to the children around the world and in one night? Logistics, and specifically aviation logistics. Logistics is the science of moving goods from where they were manufactured to where they're needed. And UNT has the experts in logistics modeling, simulation, and distribution. But why aviation logistics? Santa has always flown the presents to children around the world. In the beginning, there were not as many children and mostly close to the North Pole. The only thing that flew back then was Santa and his sleigh with eight reindeer. Airplanes had not been invented. As the world population grew and other manufacturers began selling more and more around the world, Santa's reputation also spread. Then he saw the airplanes, and as they began to fly further, faster, and carry people and cargo, Santa saw the benefit of outsourcing his delivery of presents around the world. So how does Santa use aviation logistics? Santa's like other international manufacturers. He produces all his product at one location, but has customers, children, all over the world. His distribution challenges were straining the supply chain. So he established secret distribution centers around the world, international, national, regional, and local. More airports were built, and a few became large air cargo airports that were international hubs serving other continents and countries using large cargo aircraft. These large aircraft land at airports that are near national distribution centers that then sort the cargo and route them via truck or train to regional distribution centers that then sort and route the packages via delivery vans to the customer, the children. Why DFW? Santa knows that the DFW Metroplex is the center of the country and the best place for logistics. Three cargo airports, Dallas Love Field, DFW International, and Alliance Airport. Four interstate and three national highways two Class I railroads, 600 motor carriers, top region in the U.S. for warehouse activity. Everything Santa would need to quickly and efficiently serve more children in Texas and the surrounding area. So how does it work? Well, Santa prepositions his presence in Anchorage, Alaska, the Ted Stevens International Airport, beginning weeks before Christmas. This is the fourth largest cargo airport in the world and best by geographic location to reach more destinations. It's on the top of the world. It's within nine hours of flying time to 95% of the industrialized nations. At 12.01 a.m. December 24th, wide-body cargo jets begin flying Santa's cargo to many areas in the world to include the Metroplex in the North Texas region. Just for this area, there will be around 5,750,000 pounds of presents. Serves 1.15 million children under 15, 20 to 25 flights, six to seven hours one way, and upon arrival, they unload the containers, about three hours, sort the presents, about three hours, then they route these to the regional warehouses. They dock them in the evening for all the delivery in the local areas, and at 12.01 in the morning, December 25th, they begin deliveries at the home addresses, just like FedEx, UPS, and Amazon. How do the presents get under the tree? Currently in the U.S., the government through OSHA restricts entering chimneys under the confined space regulations. So here's the magic. Millions of secret Santa volunteer elves are positioned around the world to make sure all presents get inside the homes and under the tree without making a sound. They're also the ones that eat the cookies and drink the milk. And that's how aviation logistics helps Santa make all those deliveries around the world. That's how UNT and its aviation logistics program helps Santa maintain his supply chain with all the challenges facing other industries today. Air cargo is fast, efficient, and safe. And did I mention it's also fun?